Okay, we're back, and like promised, uh, mentioned that we were going to try to see if we could send a message from our fixed station to our field stations using a Bayo thing and the Android um, FL message uh, program. This would be very handy if you had a number of people out in the field, uh, maybe maybe several shelter locations, hospital locations, operators spread around your county, um, they're in range of a repeater or a simplex station, and you wanted to relay a message possibly from HF or from EMA or other, or even the uh, state EMA, uh, WSGT, to your field operators, could be a weather bulletin, uh, anything pertaining, maybe it's the message telling everybody to pack up and go home. Uh, the price, the problem, or uh, whatever the situation is, is over. But uh, if you wanted to mass distribute a message, this would be a way to do it. Uh, using the same setup before, the uh, 817 with the uh, laptop and the Rig Blaster PNP, and the uh, field station would be the UV5R, along with um, the Android MF, MSF, uh, M. FLMSG program. So anyway, this is impromptu, so we're not doing any video editing, so this is going to uh, just uh, see how it goes here. Um, let me switch the video around. Did get our QST today in the mail, or April QST, I think this is kind of late, but uh, noticed what's on the cover but a two meter horizontal beam on a mountaintop. It looks like maybe they've got a 440 beam. So there is your portable hilltop operation on the front of QST. All right, back to the MF, our little demonstration here. So we have a message. This message was, I believe, sent Saturday. It was from the Black Swan Net on uh, 5 megahertz, uh, 60 F4, as we call it. Uh, this message was sent out looking for net control operators for the net that was on the next Sunday. So we're just going to use this as a demonstration message. This very well could be a weather bulletin or uh, any other type of message you need to get out to multiple operators. These operators are only having their, their, their simple little UV5R and their Android MFSG program. So anyway, make sure our phone don't go to sleep here. We're still using as our fixed base station, the 817, the Rig Blaster PNP, as I mentioned before. So here we go. Uh, what do you want to make a quick note there? It's uh, been a while since I've played with this app, and uh, there are other modes you can go to. You have to the screen changes here. MFSK32, MFSK64, MFSK128, which is a lot of the modes that we use on HF. In a pinch, this would work. Um, if you didn't have an interface and uh, uh, you was listening to a net on 80 meters or... Um, um, 60 meters, you could receive a message. Uh, it's not going to do FLAMP, but it would do an FL message. Uh, there is also, if you're constructing a message, there's some templates in there, ICS 213s, um, things of that sort uh, to help you out if you're out in the field and need to send an ICS 213. So anyway, I won't go into all the operation of this program right at the moment. I just want to demonstrate we can get a message in here. Uh, maybe we can work on doing some little bit more detailed videos on this app. Um, uh, in a later video. But anyway, we got our UV5R. It's on 445750, two meters. We have our EAZU FT817, 445750. It's only on a running the lowest power level, so we're not going to blow the receiver out of anything and uh, of, our U, of our Bayo thing. But uh, anyway, it's set up. We're running MT360, MT632K, and we're about to send a message here. So here we go. Let's see what we get. All right, there's the message. That message was originated Saturday, I believe, on the Black Swan Net. We just relayed it here about a foot <laughs> between our two radios. But this very easily could have been a um, weather bulletin, 
a bulletin from an EMA, a shelter, anything out. And you could have numerous amounts of technicians with their cell phone. By the way, this cell phone I'm using in the background, there is no service on it. There is no SD card on it. Um, it does have Wi-Fi capability, but uh, it is a uh, basically basically being used as a tablet. But uh, if it had no internet capability and it was just standalone, um, no service, it would work fine for this. Um, so, you know, if you've got an old cell phone laying around or even a tablet, it would work great for doing something like this. You wouldn't have to use your primary cell phone for it. Um, so, you know, the fact that it does have Wi-Fi on it really doesn't change anything. It's just being used as a mini computer. So very handy if you're out in the field. And I, I do have the Motorola in the background holding the HT up. So that's why you see a rubber duck coming out of the cell phone. So surprise, you never know what you're going to see in the background. But uh, anyway, this would be very handy. You could have multiple operators in the field, technician class hire uh, with just their Bayo thing. And they're Baofeng, Bao, Baofeng, or, you know, Yezu, Kenwood, Icom, doesn't matter the brand of the HT. We're just using the Baofeng because it is an introductory radio. It's a very affordable radio and does this operation quite well. We could easily be using the Motorola. Um, I have Yezu handhelds uh, around here also. So anyway, any number of them would work. We could even use the cheap BF888S, um, uh, of course. So Anyway, HT in the field, technician, no problem, send and receiving traffic, be very useful. And actually, I think would probably be something that um, would be great to get uh, people started into the NIMBEBS and uh, very easily could set up a local net uh, through the week and uh, have operators um, uh, receive traffic, um, relay messages from uh, um Black Swan, Amron, or other Aries nets on a weekly basis. So this is something our cell phone went to sleep. So anyway, I just wanted to do this video follow-up, prove that, uh, yeah, technicians are very valuable. Um, probably, uh, 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 probably your most valuable asset, actually, in emergency communications. Very simple setup. All battery powered, by the way. Cell phone's running off its own internal power. Uh, Bayo thing's running off its internal power. You could very easily get a portable power pack with a cell phone charger, uh, power cord for the bay or for the bay of thing, and run for days, literally days, out in the field with a uh, gel cell or a um, a uh, portable booster pack. So uh, this setup would be very economical uh, and be able to be used um, with uh, with a very uh, for a long period of time, days in the field with like a portable booster pack. So. Anyway, this is WHATW. I hope this video helps, and we'll probably be doing more videos later. WHATW out.